For only the second time since 2008, Ohio's first congressional district has gone to a Democrat. Greg Landsman was able to defeat longtime incumbent Steve Shabbat. Local 12's Christian Hauser just spoke with Landsman a short time ago to find out his priorities for the next two years. And he also looks to see if the district is now purple or if this win is thought to be just a fluke. Christian. Well, Paula and Kyle, this district went from solid red to blue last night, and it's all because of the city of Cincinnati. And Greg Landsman tells me that he's already working on what he plans to accomplish in D.C. Greg Landsman tells me he wouldn't have been able to pull off the victory without everyone who volunteered to help. We had something like 25,000 people invest in this campaign. Uh, they wanted to see change. Uh, the voters were energized. Uh, it was exciting to see. In years past, Cincinnati's been split between two districts. But because of redistricting reforms passed by voters, you can see in this year's map, the city of Cincinnati is now wholly in the first district. But Ohio's congressional maps are still not finalized, and there are lawsuits about gerrymandering. However, once the new state Supreme Court is sworn in, it's likely to rule in favor of the redistricting commission. No matter what you know, sort of lines are, are drawn and pairings are made, all of Cincinnati will stick together. And that means, you know, if you draw a district that's Cincinnati and say Hamilton County instead of Cincinnati and Warren County, you're making a district that's even better for Democrats. Now that Landsman has won, I wanted to know his plan once he gets to Washington. He says he wants to work with folks from both sides of the aisle. Everybody always says yeah. the day after the election, well, I'm going to work together with both sides. I'm going to bring the, the parties together. How do you actually plan to do that? Because of the, the slim majority, uh, whether it's the Democrats or Republicans, we're going to have to have a clear set of priorities um, and find the partners to get it done, which is you know, what I like doing. Two years from now, what will you look back and tell voters, this is what I did for you? One is, you know, did I get uh, and uh, you know, play a big role in getting the bridge done? Um, you know, did I go to D.C. and uh, with every single vote, vote with the families and the communities here as opposed to what we've had, which is folks voting with their donors? Now, Landsman says he also plans to focus on the suburbs as much as the city. Paula? All right, thank you, Christian. With Landsman's victory, someone will have to be appointed to fill his city council seat. Council members complete a certificate that lists which council members should pick a replacement if their seat becomes vacant. Landsman's certificate lists his seven fellow Democrats on council. They have 60 days to appoint a replacement.